Hello and welcome. Heat transfer is a natural process that plays a significant role in the functioning of various systems in nature. This fundamental concept in physics encompasses an array of environmental events such as energy exchange between the Sun and the Earth, ocean current circulation, weather pattern formation, and so on. Modeling heat transfer in CFD analysis is essential for understanding the behavior of many complex systems in the field of engineering and predicting how these systems will respond to various conditions. In this sixth lesson course, we will discover how to define and model different modes of heat transfer in ANSYS Fluent. We will begin the course with an introduction to heat transfer modeling in ANSYS Fluent, where we will get acquainted with three major modes of heat transfer, that is conduction, convection and radiation. The lesson will provide tips on key topics such as defining thermal boundary conditions, checking energy balance for the convergence of results and much more. In lesson 2, we will learn essential steps for setting thermal conditions for heat transfer problems. The focus will be on defining temperature at flow inlets or outlets, selecting the best boundary condition for walls, exploring the importance of coupled boundary conditions in conjugate heat transfer, and defining volumetric energy sources in solid and fluid cell zones. In lesson 3, we will explore options for modeling heat transfer in walls, including messing the wall as a solid zone, defining thickness and material, and using shell conduction. In lesson 4, we will learn how to set up natural convection, the importance of turning on gravity and using operating density, and when to use the Boussinesque model in natural convection problems. In lesson 5, the focus will be on understanding how to simulate radiation, what factors play a role in choosing a radiation model, and the various radiation models available in ANSYS Fluent. Finally, we will conclude this course by performing hands-on demo using an example CFD problem of the flow through a T-junction model where we will conduct a conjugate heat transfer simulation and analyze the heat transfer results in detail. So, without any further delay, let's get started.